Hello, I'm Dr. Gregory Bonick, Vice President of Operations at Cellport Software. I'm here today to talk about the digital transformation of cell and gene therapy, introducing the Cellport Cell Culture Suite. Cells play a critical role in everything from cell therapy, gene therapy, in vitro testing, and recombinant protein expression. Nevertheless, cells are challenging. There is a dark side to cell culture that suffers from lack of reproducibility due to inconsistent quality control. The scope of that irreproducibility is actually quite staggering. A recent study showed that fully half of the US annual preclinical research spend is reproducible, with 36% of that half stemming from biological reagents and reference material. Getting a handle on those in particular will in increase dramatically the reproducibility of these systems. And it's for that reason that Cellport Software was founded with a single vision, and that is to do away with paper lab notebooks and to digitalize cell processing. All aspects of cell processing and cell manufacturing are digitalized. We are a software as a service company founded in 2014 in Exton, Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. The software itself has been used in a GMP potency assay release test of a commercially approved gene therapy product. And the software has also been used for over 50 BCS biowaivers where the FDA allows these biopharmaceutics classification systems, biowaivers to be used in systems where in vitro testing for generic drugs is used in lieu of human testing to show the bioequivalence of the generic drug to its non-generic equivalent. We think of things in terms of cell processing as an ecosystem, an ecosystem that starts with inventory, whether that's inventory for the reagents, or equipment or cells that come in the door, all of these things are run by people following SOPs or protocols. And how well one understands that ecosystem determines how easy it is to either scale out or scale up, or if you're dealing with multiple cell lines, to diversify. And it's with that thought of an ecosystem in mind that we've created the Cellport Cell Culture Suite, a software as a service product with modules for inventory management, material management, equipment management, cell management, user management, and protocol management, all in a seamlessly integrated cloud-based software as a service product. Realizing that many of you will have best of breed applications like an ERP in your, in your own existing ecosystem that you'll want to integrate with the Cellport Cell Culture Suite, we've created an application programming interface or an API to allow seamless integration between the two. The end result is a secure and compliant application suite for cell culture, cell banking, cell processing and cell manufacturing that reduces errors, increases reproducibility and provides full audit ready traceability. And it's with that traceability in mind that the importance of cell lineage is underscored. Whether you're looking at lineage over days or weeks or months or a year, at some point you'll reach an inflection point, whether that's an audit or a patent event or a funding event, at some point you'll need to trace back that lineage. Having everything in a digital environment allows for that fully digitally traceable and transparent cell lineage. Of course, it doesn't stop in research. It goes on through GLP and you'll have the same issue. At some point, another inflection point will, will come upon you and you'll need to then digitally trace back to the original inflection point. The software allows that. The digitally traceable and transparent cell lineage bridges the gap between GLP and GMP. And the same, of course, can be said of GMP as well. Thinking about the software as a service landscape for life sciences, the Cellport software actually bridges the gap between research GLP and GMP, a single software as a service product that spans research development and manufacturing. Thinking of this timeline and thinking of some of the complexities that come along the way, data, as one goes through this, this timeline, goes from less structured to more highly structured, and process goes from less structured to more highly structured. Electronic laboratory notebooks are good for ad hoc data that is not as structured, both in terms of process and data. LIMS system, the laboratory information management system, is used in development uh, when things get more complex. And further on in manufacturing, a laboratory execution system uh, is required. The Cellport software suite, again, spans research through GLP and GMP, combining the end-to-end -end laboratory information management and inventory management and process management of a LIMS 
with the highly repeatable QC and manufacturing focus of a laboratory execution system. Again, it's a single system that spans research, GLP, and GMP. And we have dynamic object models and flexible workflows in the system that allow it to be very quickly and easily configured to incorporate upstream and downstream data and processes as well. It also can be implemented in weeks rather than months. The one thing that we know that's the same about all of our customers in terms of their cell culture ecosystems is that they're all slightly different. Nevertheless, the fundamentals of those ecosystems are the same. The cell port, cell culture suite platform it was designed to allow this fast and easy configuration to adapt to these very slight differences. One of the objects that we have in this toolkit is the flexible object models themselves, where the out of the box data definitions in the software can be precisely mapped to our customers' vocabulary and data standards. Validation rules, data and metadata, again, can be precisely mapped according to each customer's needs. Likewise, the data entry forms, the way the data are displayed or entered, uh, that is very highly configurable from the out of the box forms that exist in the system, again, to meet, to meet each one of our customers' needs. Perhaps the most important aspect of this is our configurable workflows. The configurable workflows allow the SOPs and protocols to be digitalized according to your best practices and ensure that they're followed. Again, they're not just a very pretty picture of a process. It is a process that, that integrates the data as well as the data uh, entry forms in a seamless executable workflow. These workflow tools utilizing business process model and notation or BPMN, which is a standard, these workflow tools take your SOPs from paper to process, wherein each step of a workflow is converted to the digital equivalent of these executable workflows. And that takes these SOPs from paper to process to practice, wherein the software itself becomes the SOP. We also have data import tools that allow any data that you have already in digital format to be easily uploaded into the system and get you going that much faster. Overall, the technology benefits are very clear. Roles are defined to de determine who has the responsibility and permission to do what step. That in turn allows the audit trails to provide the full traceability and audit ready transparency of the system. Electronic signatures are part and parcel of this, both 21 CFR part 11 and annex 11 compliant. We're also undergoing certification for an ISO 27001 information security management process. We have instrument integrations to allow easy transfer and capture of any data or metadata that exists in those systems. And likewise, I mentioned the application programming interfaces or the APIs that allow seamless interoperability with other best of breed systems that you will have in house. The dynamic object models that I mentioned allow fast and easy configuration to fit your ecosystem uh, the system adapts to you rather than forcing you to adapt to it. The guided workflows, the BPMN workflows uh, are something that provides that reproducible results and ensure data integrity. Each stepwise portion of those workflows must be completed satisfactorily before uh, the user is allowed to go on to the next step. And finally, the system allows integration with email allowing it to become a communication collaboration hub that supports that kind of workflow across teams, whether it's in one location or in many locations around the world, and whether it's in research, GLP or GMP, all of it can be seamlessly inter interspersed and interconnected through this cloud-based software as a service product. There are key competitive advantages of this. Again, it is a low code, software as a service product. Low code meaning that the software itself is not changing. Uh, you're making minor modifications to a configuration. Therefore, the underlying software is not changing. It does not need to be revalidated. We think of it as clicks, not code. It is uniquely focused on cells, unlike anything else that's out there. And as I mentioned, very highly configurable. And because we use Microsoft Azure, as the platform upon which this is based, very highly scalable. Again, underscoring all of these tools that are combined, it can be implemented in weeks rather than months. I thank you very much for your attention and I look forward to meeting you 
at Meeting on the Mesa. Thank you.